the VMA's shadiest moments, what you didn't see on TV, plus Taylor's hidden messages. We explain all the shade in her new video. The branches were out at the VMAs and the temperature throughout the evening remained chilly with big patches of shade. The ladies of Fifth Harmony walked home with a moon man of their own, but they also won me over with their sexy performance of Down. And the foursome made one thing crystal clear. They are just fine without Camila Cabello. You said I was an angel. Did you see that? They literally threw a fifth member off the stage. But it wasn't just the Camilla Standin who went flying. Host Katy Perry became the Moon Man, flying down to the stage for her opening monologue. But mere seconds after she landed, Twitter lit up with folks saying Katy's hosting skills fell flat. One of her biggest critics, Adam Levine's wife, Bahati Prinsloo, who tweeted her jab from home writing, whoever wrote Katy Perry's script for the VMAs, I just want to let you know it's next level cringeworthy. Hashtag make it stop. Ooh, and even Jack Antonoff, Taylor Swift's collaborator and bestie, just sat there eating a friggin' banana during her monologue. And you know who else was surprisingly unimpressed by the jokes? Ellen. How hard can it be to impress the queen of everything nice? I'm shook by this reaction, Ellen. Now, speaking of Katie, ears perked up after Katie made this comment while catching viewers up who were previously watching the Game of Thrones finale. Kendrick Lamar on fire. Ed Sheeran's friends, dead. Was it in reference to Ed Sheeran's performance or the fact that old Taylor Swift is dead? Taylor's words, not ours. Now, Swift herself was not at the VMAs, but she let her presence be known by debuting her video of latest single, Look What You Made Me Do. Katy Perry did not reference, introduce, or even show her face when the video premiered during the show. But you know who was in the audience at the time? Ex-boyfriend Calvin Harris. Check out his reaction just after the video ended. He sat stone-faced and still. And that's what we call a clap-free clapback. Still, there was no direct reference to Calvin in the video, but Taylor left plenty of hidden digs for us to uncover. In the first 35 seconds, Taylor is dripped in diamonds in a bathtub, and one might say it's a reference to Kim Kardashian's Paris robbery, where she was targeted for her bling. And here, Taylor clearly channeling Katy Perry with the blunt haircut and cheetah print. But look right there. The Katy lookalike is holding up a Grammy, pointing out that Swift has won 10 and Katy zero. But the rest of the video, Taylor takes aim at her own headline making moments. Maybe I got mine, but you'll all get yours. She references her cat love and self, her dominatrix inspired bad blood squad, and yep, that is the I Heart TS shirt like we saw on ex Tom Hiddleston. But the part that had me gagging was the girl straight up poking fun at her former selves in this final scene. What are you doing? Getting receipts. I'm gonna edit this later. Uh, I, I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative. It is official, folks. The old and new T Swift are never, ever getting back together. Now, I'm sorry if this pop music anarchy is starting to get too old and too extra too fast, but this is fun. I feel like a detective. All right, but we gotta move on to one of the enemies on Taylor's list Kim Kardashian. Kim was a guest co-host on Live with Kelly and Ryan today, filling in for Kelly Ripa. There was no mention of Taylor's new music video, and that's because Monday's episode was actually pre-taped. But Kim is keeping it real in this amazing feature in Interview Magazine, who have declared her America's new first lady. And they really stuck to that styling theme. Kardashians dressed like Jackie O. The perfectly tailored dresses, the long gloves, big hair, come through 1960s. I wanna know what you guys think. I think she totally nailed the Jackie Kennedy vibes on this one. And look who joined her for the shoot. It's none other than four-year-old daughter Northwest by her side. Inside the mag, Kim opens up about her family and her business. She says she feels if all of this went away, she could be a publicist with how much crisis control she does for her brood. But she also claps back at the haters who said she had no talent, adding, quote, you can say a lot of things about me, but you cannot say I don't work hard. I don't sing, I don't dance, I don't act, but I am not lazy. 
Look, she may not be lazy, but I need to know what she thinks of this Taylor Swift stuff. Give the people what they want, Kim. Okay, well, I go calm down about that. Be sure to hit subscribe, and we'll be back with more Daily Denny tomorrow. Like, comment, and share, and I'll like, comment, and dish right back. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, such good stuff today.